Hello my friends, welcome to my craft room. This is Sherry. I'm here with a flip through of this garden journal, or I'm calling it a gar gar garden journal, but it's actually called, the book It was called Aromatic Herbs, and uh, it's a cute little, see here's my hand, cute little journal, and I did make a test, we'll go with it, so it's all finished. Uh, it will, this one will go into my Etsy, so we're going to do a quick, quick, flip through when you see this video it will be in my Etsy unless it's already sold it's uh, it is four and three quarter inches wide by six just over six about six and one quarter inches tall and I, I just really love this book and this book cover and uh, just thought it was would make a really cute journal and I was right I think it is a really cute journal so I made this little tassel to go with it. I've got lots of uh, yarns and eyelash trims, some little sparkly uh, ribbons and things. So it's a, you know, I think it's just the right size for this journal. It is removable. It's on a, um, you know, notebook ring here and it's hanging on the side here with a paper clip. We have two signatures. Uh, it, you know, we made most, most of this together on video so you kind of, if you've seen those videos, you know what's going on here with the upholstery and everything. Uh, you haven't seen the closure, but I mentioned it. And it's something new I wanted to try. I saw someone do this. Do this. I don't know who it was. And uh, I don't know how they made it. So I kind of, you know, did my own thing. So I don't know if I did it like that. They did it, but... I put my own spin on it and just um, use some elastic. This is elastic, and I have the the thing I like is it's elastic, but you can still still see the journal pretty much through uh, the elastic, and I like how it looks on the journal. And uh, I wanted also to use some of my big buttons. I have several big buttons, you know, like vintage buttons, and uh, they are sometimes hard to use. Right, try to figure out what to do with them. So this is one thing you can do with them. So it just is a very easy thing. I thought you just unhook it here and it unwraps <laughs> and completely comes off. It's just a circle of elastic. This is black, thin blast, black elastic and I threaded it through the button and uh, then it is uh, tied in a knot, a couple of knots there. And all you do when you want to put it back on, let me just show you, in case you're wondering. Now, I made this extra long, so I had it wrapped around three times. But uh, just say you only, or maybe I only had it wrapped around this, this, oh, this one I think I wrapped around twice, and the other one I wrapped around, I think of how, oh, I think I did it like this. <laughs> like I said, this is a new closure for me. But, yeah, the other one I think I wrapped around three times, and this I wrapped around twice, because... I thought the three times was a little bit, you know, I didn't. The other one I did first, and I did it three times. I thought, well, that's kind of a lot. I probably don't need three times around. <laughs> so I just did two times around, enough for three, two times around. And it makes a nice tight closure. So you just wrap it around twice there, and then you loop it over your button. And there you go. And you can put it together like that. Or if you like how it looks spread out, you can spread out your elastics and, you know, have it sitting on your nightstand or your in your craft room or wherever like that. I think that's kind of cool looking too. And you could have the button wherever you want if you want to push it over here or in the middle. So anyway, I thought it was a really cool thing and I wanted to try it. And it really keeps it together. It's good for this journal because there's nothing it can squish over here too. So let's do a flip through. Uh, here's how it looks front and back and oh let me show you the top I've got some decorated paper clips here and I've got some tabs and trims here too so let's look and see what we did so I left this because it was so beautiful I really thought about putting it in a pocket here but I just didn't want to cover up this beautiful marbling and this is what came with the book and so I have two signatures uh, this one's covered by uh, use some pages from a journaling, uh, kind of a garden journal book I found at a thrift store. Everything is in here is original, no, you know, digitals or print, you know, prints or anything like that. 
and most things I've got picked up at thrift stores. Um, even my some of my scrapbook paper I've gotten at thrift stores, and some I've you know I've gotten a lot of new scrap paper, scrapbook paper, but I've got a lot at thrift stores, thrift stores too. Like this one here, actually got at a at, at a store. So, but I've had it for a long time, so I needed to use some of it. But um, you, we put this this. There's a lot of sewing in here too. A lot of things sewn on to the pages. So like this fabric is upholstery that's sewn on to this flip out. Uh, these pages right here that you see like this that say Nature's Remedies are from a Nature's Remedy book, like another kind of herbal type medicine type book. Here, a little butterfly here. Um, I'll try to go a little bit quick so I don't take too long here, but your pocket here with the butterfly. You can see there's a couple of little flowers and some rickrack. In this pocket, I have one of my little tablets that I made from scraps. A little booklet and you can turn it either way and I like I've been saying you can there's a lot of options the things you can do with those you can just use them for writing gluing things in there glue the whole thing down somewhere just have fun with it decorate it up whatever you want to do here's a little tag this is coffee dyed file folder here that I have decorated um, actually it's coffee dyed and writ dyed I think is what it is this, this is pretty here. I don't know what this is. I think it's might be wallpaper. <laughs> it's really pretty. I like this little scrap here too. It looks like it's from a magazine, from a newspaper. I made that. I've had a lot of my uh, uh, ephemera uh, for a good while. So cause I I love making ephemera. So I've got a, quite a, a stash now that I need to. I'm trying to use in each journal. I try to put a lot of my handmade journal, handmade ephemera in there. So this is from an orchid book. Pretty little page. There's several pieces of upholstery in here, and here's one we've turned into a tab, and that's sewn on. This is from a garden planner here. You can see there's lines to write on. This is a graph paper that can, you know, someone can draw out their plan for their garden here. And these are two tuck spots here. There's a little piece of uh, paper in here that was a scrap that I made into a drilling spot, a little tiny drilling spot. That's a bird in a bird cage there. And then, and that is on graph paper that was a scrap. And then these are two little tags that have, well this one has, it is white on the back, so you can definitely write on that. And then this one you can write on too, either side really. It's light enough to write on if you wanted to write on those. And you can see the graph paper here. Uh, this is a pocket made out of, uh, this was, the, these two pages were from a children's garden book. We've got a little cluster here. And in here I have another one of my booklets made from coffee dye scraps. Okay, and what else is in there? Oh, this is a little match game, a flower match game that I have. I put one of those in here. Okay. Uh, I left on my sewing, a lot of the sewing on the pages, I left the strings. So like here you see a string, some strings, and wherever you see strings, they're just from my sewing. And I thought I would try leaving them and see. Um, if you don't like them, you can always cut them off, but uh, I thought it might be fun to leave the strings. Here's the label we put in as a little flip up, a vintage label, tomato, tomato label. And... That was on it. This is an end page from a vintage book, and I just really like the way that feels and the color, and it's a nice thick paper. Here's a gardening card, like a greeting card. How does your garden grow? It says here on the front. That was just so cute. I had to put it in here, and I decorated it with. This has got sewing through it, and it's a piece of the upholstery that I used in these journals. Uh, here is a gardening page here. Where we added a tuck spot with these two pretty floral playing cards and I put a this is from a children's book that I made a tag out of the page and there was a little um, insect on here that I just thought it was cute like you know because there's you know you see insects in your garden like there here's a butterfly on these flowers this is from this actually little this picture here is from a, a seed catalog that I had too like a seed catalog magazine. So it's like a magazine page glued onto cardstock. So 
just interesting stuff where stuff comes from, right? Here's some more of that Nature's Remedies book. I just that those pages are so pretty. This is honey. It's a picture, beautiful picture of honey here. And it talks about honey on the back. So it's here's graph paper, and on the graph paper, I have with my decorated paper clip there a little file folder made out of scrapbook paper. So that is just clipped on there. So you can remove that and do what you want with it. It's white inside, so it can be used for writing. So this is, uh, let's see, we're still on the front half. Oh, this is the center here. This is from a, uh, I think it's from a, I showed you all the books in the first, most, I think I showed you all the books in the first video in this series of creating these garden journals. And this was from one where I think you make your own floral arrangements and floral decorations. So that's what this page is from. And I just thought it was really pretty for a center page. And then on the strings, I have charms on all the strings in both the uh, signatures. And the uh, this is bound with wax cord. And I don't know if you're familiar with wax cord, but the, sometimes the knots come. I did tie a double knot, I believe. But sometimes the knots tend to loosen up for some reason. And if, you, if you're worried about that, just tighten it up. Again, like I just did. But there's a little bow. Um... Well, this one's a butterfly over here, and this one is a, um, this one's a butterfly too, actually. I think there's some bows in the, in with these charms, but these two, they almost look like bows, but these two are butterflies. A little white one with gold and a little pretty little pink one there. So two butterflies in the back half of that signature now. Same types of papers I just showed you. Here is our, where we worked on together one of the videos, our fold-out envelopes, double envelopes. They're coffee-dyed envelopes, and there's goodies in each one. Let's see, let's do this one first. In this one, I have, oh, I put an extra page in that one from the Orchid book, the little, it's a little vintage, you know, one of those little flower guides, but it's, this one's all about orchids, so I put that in there. In this first envelope but you can put whatever you want and use that page however you want you can make some tags or whatever and this one has a, this a seed envelope in it decorated with a butterfly and in here I have several labels that you can use to decorate uh, different pages or whatever you want to use them for but uh, they're made out of I just have a little collection of I love labels, and I'm sure you do too. So I just got some of all the different kinds. This is from probably from a bingo game, and it has a number on it. This is a stamped like muslin, and I have these number stamps, so I had stamped a bunch of those. So that's a number five. This is some uh, little label I got from Timu. Here's a little tag with a number on it. Whoops. I have these in with my labels too, and and words and things. So this one says magic. This one says explore. This is uh, probably a number. And these are also numbers. And I just think some stuff like that is fun to decorate. Maybe put a finishing touch on something that you're um, doing. So those, are, those will be in here. And those are in this envelope. And then it just folds back up. And we this is Edith Holden paper or pages here. That we used if you saw that video these are the mu this is the mushrooms here and some pretty flowers and then over here is the one flap from one of the envelopes where it's a tuck spot we left it as a tuck spot and this is uh this is my this is was a swatch tag with paint that i used paints on and then i decorated it with a few pieces of paper too and a butterfly and little tabs this is a actual uh this is, I'm not sure what that's from, but it's a cute little, looks like a little postage stamp. But it's a little layered piece, so anyway, super, I, I love the colors. The butterfly has green in it, and there's greens in all this, greens and yellows. The colors really came together nice on that. And then little upholstery um, fabric pocket here. And in there, I put several of these pieces of paper that I cut up as drilling spots. And they're good too if you want a drilling spot somewhere and add writing space and you want some lines, you can just glue one of those down. So that's why I put those in there. 
and then I have some a little bin of the of a, I call it ephemera it says ephemera on it <laughs> for real and uh, it's just a little piece of paper that I cut up into like little tiny journaling cards like this like I just rounded the corners and this is cardstock so this can be glued down somewhere so they say you want to put it here and put a title or you know um, sunflowers or something on it or you want to write a date on it and it could be used as a label or you know it could be used at the top or you know used in any way you want I'm just I think things like that come in really handy so that is in there and then I showed you this where I found these two little miniature uh, glassing envelopes in my little mini envelope stash and I put some stamps in here for you to, to uh, have some fun with so that is in there and then this is the other side of the label where you know you saw the tomatoes in the front half of this signature and this is the other side of the label and it's also a flip here <clears throat> this is a little bookmark that I made from a greeting card you know I just cut out this little piece here to make it and added some ribbon and made it into a bookmark so that is right there and this is the other side of that pocket made with the children's gardening pages and in here I have a little, uh, this bunny journaling card, it's sewn around. This is piano roll paper on the back, so that it had words on it, which is really cool. And then this front, it's on book page in the middle, you can see the text underneath. And this is a bunny napkin that I put on top of that, so really cute in there. And graph paper here again the gardening journal page, the orchid guide book. This is gardening uh, computer stationery, which I think is really pretty with a little wagon here. The herbal kind of uh, book there. Another flip out with the upholstery. Lined paper, and now we're on a second signature. Here's another nature's remedy page here the gardening journal and here's a little acetate butterfly those butterflies as a reminder i got from a greeting card my birthday card actually from this year that my parents sent me that i took apart i love this page here with the purple flowers and the purple lined paper here uh, this is a pocket here where i put in i folded that up as a pocket there and then in here i have this little tag that i had made it has some flowers on it and you can write up here, decorate, or whatever you want to do with that. Um, most things in here I had already, already made. And I just, like I said, I have so much ephemera I'm trying to use. And now I'm trying to use it. This was uh, packaging that I covered, I think, with this. This was a scrapbook paper, I think. I covered over this. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is really pretty, though, isn't it? I love this flower here. We have those in Florida. Those flowers, well, you know, I live in North Carolina now, but when I lived in Florida, they would almost grow wild. They would grow up on a fence, and they're on a vine, and they're just really beautiful flowers, and they would just grow wild, like, up on a fence. They just all of a sudden appear, and they just make these beautiful flowers. Anyway, this is a little fabric swatch piece here with a few pieces of pretty fabric on it. This was some sari fabric I got one time. It has tulle on the top here, some sparkly tulle, so... Anyway, just a little fabric that you can use like as is or take apart and use the pieces, whatever you want to do. So over the top of this page is a little card. Um, these are pieces I put together. Uh, these cards came, this black and white card came by itself. And I added the little green circle in the 3D daisy there. From That's from Dollar Tree, the daisy. But it's a little writing spot that I just made out of that little card. Those are so cute. 2010, it says on the back. But it was just, I love little cards. So whenever I see, whenever I would see little cards at the thrift store, I always pick them up because I think they're adorable. <laughs> they're so fun. Like, it's the perfect little journaling spots, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. And so, uh, this is from the children's gardening book. I love the colors in that book. And the journal, gardening journal. Here's another tab. I think I put one upholstery fabric tab in each set, each uh, signature, and they are sewn through. 
Oops, I have these two pages clipped together. Oh no, that's on purpose. This is a little pocket I put in here. Yeah, I clipped a pocket in here in case you wanted to put it somewhere. Like, I mean, you could put it on a page. Like, say you could put it here if you want. Oh, it goes good with those colors, doesn't it? Look at that. I didn't really even plan that. I just put it there because it fit. <laughs> but um, you could also, let me keep that page marked. You could put it here if you wanted to, or in the back, if you did want a pocket here. That's why I put it in here, because I didn't want, like I said, I didn't want to cover that up. But if somebody wanted a pocket there, that would look pretty there. You know, it goes with the colors. It's, I already had it made up, but it looks so pretty with the colors in here. I wanted to put it in here. It has a little bird right here. Here's the pocket. Let me go back to our page. But here's the pocket, see, right here. Oh, wait a minute. It's, oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot what I did. Okay, here is the pocket up here. And this is a belly band. Okay. Yeah, this is made out of scrapbook paper. That was all in one paper, scrapbook paper pad. Very beautiful, though. Yeah, I did a good job on that. <laughs> it's pretty. I like it. <laughs> Look at that. But it really good. looks good here, too. Look at the colors. I'm amazed at that. Okay. All right. So, as we keep turning... Uh, this was a little acetate paper. I'm glad I got to finally use it. I have, a, I think I have a few different ones. No more of this pattern, but a few different ones. I don't, I don't think I have any more of this pattern. But isn't that pretty? It's acetate. If you're wondering what to do with your acetate papers, I got it at a thrift store. I've never bought any any acetate papers like scrapbook papers or whatever. But I, this was in a bunch of scrapbook paper I bought at a thrift store, and in the middle of it was some few acetate pages. I was like, wow, that is interesting. And at first I was like, what am I going to do with those? But here's what I did. I just made it into this one into a page. It's beautiful, and made a pocket here. It's sewn together. And then in here is, uh, this is also for my birthday card that I took apart. And just cut these beautiful butterflies out. I added... Uh, some uh, this is uh, avocado dyed paper on the back the car and this is the card there so you have writing room on the back but it fits in there nicely and this is a vintage florist card so that can be a journaling spot you can glue it down somewhere use it as a pocket belly band a little cluster there pocket here we put this envelope here together in the envelope I put a little tag little teacup there with a, some flowers next to it and I just put it in there like that and left the string hanging out like almost like a tea like you would see a tea bag with a string hanging out that's what it reminded me of <laughs> but it's a tag and then here's a pretty little book page tag it's, um, this is a 3d uh, sticker from from Dollar Tree oh this one has piano paper on the back it's sewn around but you can write over that I just really love these colors together. This is a little piece of paper I put behind it, or did it come with it? I'm not sure. It really looks nice, though. <laughs> I think I worked on that, some of those on my vacation uh, to Florida. Okay, in the middle of this one, I have some of the uh, gardening computer stationery. Isn't that pretty? And there's writing room on the back. So this... These strings have a dragonfly and another butterfly that looks like a bow. <laughs> You're going to be like, that's a bow, whoever gets this. But there isn't, the only reason I, it looks like it's not a bow is because it has antennae on there. You can see the antennae from the butterfly, but it really looks like a bow to me. But it, it's a butterfly. Okay, so we're on the back half here with a pocket. This is from a gardening book. Pretty flowers. And I turned it up here and made a pocket sewn. Uh, this is an, uh, this is a, oh yeah, this opens up. So I, I, I was going to put this over the top of a page, but I didn't. I just stuck it in this pocket. But you can make it into a flip up if you want. Glue it, glue it or staple it on the top of a page and have it flip up or just use it as a drilling spot as is. It's made out of scrapbook paper. And then just stick it in the pocket like I did. And this is another one of these um, little tags. 
I have a couple of those in there. And this is another, this is the back half of the acetate page where I have another pocket. And this is a book page tag. This is sewn around. It's got uh, coffee dyed file folder, I think, on the back. Yeah, it feels like coffee dyed file folder with book page on the front. And it's, these are acetate stickers on there. Flower, sticker, flower, flower stickers. And then this is a napkin uh, also over book page. And it's got piano roll on the back too. See the writing there? There's some fun stuff in here. Of course. Stuck all the fun stuff in here. I mean, I had a lot more I wanted to put in here, and I'm going to put some things that I wanted to put in here in the in the goodie pack because I couldn't fit everything in here that I wanted to fit in here. Like, I don't have it together, but I'm going to put a postcard in there, uh, just a few other, you know, like some scraps, some postage stamps, some stickers like that. So this is the little book we made together where I used this. I had received this little piece that's on the cover in Happy Mail. And it's a beautiful little scene, garden scene with this bike. It has little daisies in a basket there. And then we, if you remember, if you saw that video where we did this together, we added these coffee dyed papers. And then it's glued down on this page. I thought that really turned out cute. And it's, we put this baker's twine behind it so that when it's all said and done, you can tie it up and discourage everyone from reading your private thoughts there. <laughs> So, so I mean, this could be a journal, garden journal if you really want it to be about gardening or it could be about anything, you know what I mean? It could just be a regular journal and use it as you wish, you know what I mean? Like, my journals are all, like, kind of like scrapbooks. I love to put photos in there and mementos and things I collect. And I make little notes and things about what, you know, who the people are and, and you know, the date and things like that and write what was happening. But I don't like just write over a whole page. I just, but you know, you're welcome to do that. Just write all over everything. You know, you do your own thing, whatever you want to do in, in any type of journal, no matter what the theme is. You know what I mean? So, this is from a beautiful floral book. I have this page. I folded it up here and made a pocket. And then this is a little bird postage stamp, a real postage stamp that I took from an envelope. And it's, I put it down here as a decoration. And then these are two scrappy tags I put in here. This is like more like a journal card here. It's sewn around. You can see all my little paper scraps there. And then you can write on the back. So that's in there. And then this one is a scrap, scrappy tag. Have the word explore there. I kind of really love this one. I love the scene in the back here. It's like a... It's like a travel, um, little travel piece there. And then I have the word explore and then some pretty colors down here. Uh, this is from actually a brochure that I got uh, when I was traveling. And uh, so this was a scrap. When I brought it home, I used pieces of it like this on the back of tags. And uh, so you can write on here. It's light enough to just write right over there if you wanted to. I would. So, yeah, or just write down the middle if you don't want to write over the text. But, yeah, just have fun with it. And here's the bit, last couple pages. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed the whole series of making this journal. And I'll show you one more time how this works. <laughs> one more demonstration in case somebody wants to, wants to get it. So, yeah, I just place it down here. Hold it down. Well, what I would do is keep it together at first. And I, I don't, like it's so, it's kind of, you know, alligator mouth right now because of all the ephemera I have in here. But if you take all that out, it will go together more, you know, go together more. It's just that I have, I stuffed all the pockets. I mean, you saw there was like it, probably two or three things and probably mostly three things in each pocket. So I stretched this out pretty good. Like, you don't have to stretch it out that far, but I, you know, it's real stretchy. So then I just wrap it around, stretch it, wrap it around, and take the end of it, which is a little circle, 
and just slip it over the button. There you go, all closed up. And it doesn't damage anything. This is a nice hard cover, so it's not going to make a dent or anything on there. It's a very hard cover, and this end is all covered. You know, the original covering is all in the book there, so it's all well protected. Anyway, I really love it. How it turned out, I'm so glad I went ahead and made this into a journal along with the other uh, cover. And the next cover that I used was a gardening book cover, which I will, that will be the next video. And there will be a flip through of that one. And I'll tell you all about what's going on with that one in that video. So thanks for watching. And I'll, uh, stay tuned for my next uh, vi journals. Uh, I don't know what they're going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be fun. So I'll see you then. Have a great day.